Welcome to this uh, video on introduction to embedded systems. I am Mr. Akshay Bhosle from Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering from Sanjay Godhaut Institutes Atigre. These are the learning objectives of this uh, video. At the end of this video, students will be able to understand what is meant by an embedded system and how to classify different types of embedded systems. So what is an embedded system? So a system which is having combination of hardware and software and which is used to perform a particular task is called as an embedded system. So uh, a system, any system, electronic system, which is having hardware and some software is installed on that hardware and which is used for performing a particular task can be called as an embedded system. So there are there can be many examples of embedded system. So for example, a calculator or a setup box can be an example of an embedded system. Now here calculator uh, is having some hardware and some software is installed on that hardware which performs a particular job. Particular job means what? The uh, uh, calculator is used for performing arithmetic operations. So that is the only thing that a calculator can do. So that's why calculator is an embedded system. Same is the case with the setup box. Then we have different types of embedded systems. Now the embedded systems are classified based on functionality and performance requirements. There can be any other criteria for classifying the uh, embedded systems, but according to this criteria of functional functionality and performance requirements, uh, we have uh, four different categories of embedded systems. First one is standalone embedded systems. Second one is real time embedded systems. Third one is networked information appliances. And finally, we have mobile devices. So now we'll look at one system at a time, one type of system at a time. So first one is stand standalone embedded systems. Now in these type of systems, the systems take input from user, process that input and give some desired output. Now in this case, the system is not connected to any external uh, device or interface. Uh, for example, uh, if we having if we are having uh, some system for that system only power supply will be connected externally otherwise nothing will be connected externally to that system the example of such kind of system can be a consumer electronic items for example a washing machine now in case of a washing machine the power supply is connected other than that nothing is connected to the system so in case of washing machine the user gives some input uh, to the machine that is what type of clothes uh, are to be washed that is the input the system processes it and gives the output it washes the clothes according to the input given by the user and the end result is the clothes are washed so such type of systems can be called as standalone embedded systems next we have real-time embedded systems now these are the systems in which a particular task must be completed within stipulated period of time such type of systems can be called as real-time embedded systems. Now, one thing here we have to remember is that real-time embedded systems does not mean fast. It means the output is always predictable. So uh, not necessarily the fast systems can be called as real-time systems. So uh, the example for this can be a live telecast system or missile destroying system. Now, in case of missile destroying system, the output of the system must come in desired amount of time or particular amount of time. It must follow the deadline. If suppose the deadline is not followed, then the results can be catastrophic. Next type of uh, systems can be networked information appliances type of systems. In these type of systems, uh, the uh, these systems are connected to network interfaces and can be accessed using LANs or internet. So any system which is connected to internet or to a LAN network can be called as a network information appliances. The example is intelligent routers or networked Xerox machines. Now the network Xerox machine is a machine which is connected to several PCs on the network and you can give a printout from any of the PCs to that machine. So such type of systems come under the category of network information appliances. And finally, we have mobile devices. So uh, 
the portable devices which are used to perform a particular task come under this category so mobile devices does not necessarily mean mobile phones it can be any portable device which is battery operated which is handheld and which can be taken from one place to another the example of this can be a bus ticket vending machine now in case of bus ticket vending machine it is handheld and battery operated and also it can be taken from one place to another and uh, it is having hardware some software uh, inside it and it is used for performing a particular task and the task is uh, vending the tickets so that's why this is uh, category this comes under the category of mobile devices so that now we have seen what is an embedded system and what are the types of embedded system now we can have one reflection question so can you list at least one example of an embedded system which comes under uh, more than one categories of embedded system so uh, you can pause this video and think for a minute and try to list some of the embedded systems which come under more than one category of embedded systems i hope you have uh, written down your answer my answer is microwave oven there can be lot of different answers uh, why microwave oven because it comes under the category of standalone embedded systems and real time embedded systems why standalone because the user gives input to this microwave oven it processes it and uh, gives the output other than uh, this uh, microwave oven is just connected to the power supply other than power supply it is not connected to any external thing and why real time system because uh, whenever user sets the input to the microwave uh, user can set either temperature or uh, he can set the uh, timing so uh, every time the microwave oven should turn off within a stipulated period of time that is given by the uh, user so it should not take more than that so that's why it comes under this category of real time embedded systems so these are the uh, things about embedded system and the types of embedded systems according to the functionalities of the systems thank you for watching the video